person. Everybody has their lines where they, they believe, you know, you shouldn't cross it. It's your choice to lay yours where you want to in this game. But as I yeah. said, it all comes down to the fact, like, you know, if there's a tournament with 60 hertz monitors and you have, like, four of your players at home will have 60 hertz monitors, but everybody else is used to 144, well, that's an advantage for your team. Then it's the same thing with trash talking. If you let it bother you and the other team doesn't, they're going to get an advantage. Yeah, I guess so. So, Maryland... On their map pick will play on the unfavored side, so we're looking to see strats out the wazoo. Nuke's got a smoke, as is the rest of his family gonna actually rush White Halls. And he's actually gonna sell this smoke and flash to. Oh, it's actually gonna be an outer take as he actually come up towards ladder. Petrus actually swarms. Stratus gonna pick up one kill. Yeze actually pick up another. Hero comes down the ladder and the big flanker Rooney. A little bit lag, guys. The map's. So oh my god! Hero. I was shoot. go TV. I was getting that too. Yeah, it's go TV, guys. So, you know, let's ignore my potato PC. Oh my God, Richie, stop that! I don't think it's your PC. Uh, I honestly I, just I blame I blame British Columbian connections. British Columbian is that how you say that? The server is probably in Seattle. I'm assuming is that the, the... I I don't know where Maryland is geographically. I, I mean I either. Know. That's a Canadian thing for us. Just yeah, bear somebody's with like, oh, it's in this state, and I'm like doesn't help either like i know where some are i know where like the big ones like oh. florida michigan but oh nice shot yep eagles out maryland looking to try and upset ubc in the i guess uh first round of rounds after losing pistol oh nader i like this I love, oh no, but he whips the shot! He will actually get the kill. Actually, I need to reset this guy. Sorry, I didn't see the HP. But this is actually doable here. Mater's got a rifle. They've got control of outside still. After pushing up the ladder. Actually, I was confusing they myself a, there. They have a quick advantage from a couple of nice pistol plays but then they slow things down maryland on the t side obviously this is their pick yeah you do did mention it i mean you do kind of expect they have something up their sleeve here but a b site rush going to be denied by two headshots from strata richie chiming in to help clean up and mike now by himself with the scout the round crumbles before them. They had the advantage. They went out like dominoes and Strata hits two awesome scout shots. To see to it that UBC has a 2 a lead. Strata, like you just hear the like the heads like it hit. And it's just like, oh crap. I'm not sure if those guys were trying to run into sight or they're blocking each other. But they had about 40 seconds when they were running down. I don't know. That's... Strata, you hate to see it. it. Yeah, seriously. Now, they're on a pistol buy. Let's see what Impetuous does here with the scout. He's going to be looking teak on. Molly smoke a little too strong. Oh, that nade. Nuked again with the deagle, though. Going to connect the first shot. And Strata on the buys and not going to stop shooting. Won't need to. Gets a pair. Mike able to trade. Goes down quickly. Richie and Impetuous find the final kills in the... Oh. Maybe not. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's how. Of course, that's how it was gonna. You missed the whole clip with the USP. That's how you're gonna get the kill. <laughs> yeah, Vetris calling you out, man. What was that? But 3-0 for UBC. Um. <sighs> I mean, we're yes, we're already on this map. Already pistol played out. But do you really agree with this? This map play for Maryland. If they are faithful to themselves that they have this map down pat i mean they're gonna go for it even if their recent results don't really reflect that i don't think they've actually played train as much uh as people might think they have they do have i think they have a pretty good idea of how to play it as you can see they're getting the early advantages after losing pistol here on the first gun round a two-player advantage impetuous on the scout still too going to be the back six play or no strat is actually in that position now as the ops he's might jump away they have the bomb honestly their best bet would be to group up now if you can grab a two-player advantage you can have a good chance at taking one of the sites either way oh my that's God. not a good way to do it Mater, he looked at him he's like no, what's that 
right now. Hero finds two kills. They don't deal with this man. Klob actually gonna clean him up. But now Impetuous in a 1v2. He's got the scout. Spotted one player. No one's coming out towards the ladder room, but five bullets in the scout. He's gonna pull off and tagged up and he will go down. And that's the, the gun round. Now, mind you, British Columbia playing a little sloppy by sending two players aggressive. Uh, probably just doing their own thing. No utility, I think, was used to really push these angles. I think it was T-Con followed yeah. by Upper B? Or a little, like yeah, a little bit of complacency on the side of UBC there just to, you know, they're winning gunfights left and right. They're trying to string it together from the last round. And Maryland makes them pay for it with a solid default towards the A site. As I said, that's where UBC could lose this game. Well, let's hope that happens. Not trying to be mean or anything, but off from Hero, it's going to shut this down towards upper B. He's going to be holding the angle. Finds a second shot, looking for the third. But here comes the flank from Yaze. Finds two. Oh, good night, sweet Prince Mike. Late to the party. And just like that, they lose all their guns. Yep. It's a nice hard reset. It just goes to show how on a map like even like train, um, you can see like a singular op can just take over the round. Hero in the position there draws their attention with that first shot. Like once he gets that first shot upper and they see him like in a position where they know he's going to re-peak, everybody's focused in that angle and UBC, oh. oh my gosh, nuked again with another deagle shot out T-Con. This man is an animal when he's on a pistol. Getting walled up there by Hero, but... New, it's another early advantage for his side. Really wanting to bounce back after what was honestly a pretty rough last map for him. Yeah, three kills just like that by Nuke with those one deeks towards the box. Punishing, I think, not exactly the same player, but multiple different players. Petrus could find one kill strata with the Nova's gonna pick up one, and Petrus finds another. Mater and Kalob with. No, just pistols here. Stuck towards T-Con. They want to make something happen, but Hero's holding it down. And uh, going back to what you're saying with the off, you know, upper B so linear. Look at this, Mater. Going to make something happen. Here comes the Pokeball. Does a little bit of damage to Kalop. Mater finds another D kill, so it's definitely doable. Ooh, Richie out ladder late. He knows where Kalab is. Kalab trying to get around the corner to be able to. Not going to hit the first eagle shot. Looking for one more. Dodging shots. Oh, oh my gosh. He able to take down Hero. And just like that, Richie, bit of a rough spot. He actually has an advantage here, health wise. But he actually has full utility too. Should be able to shut down Kalab here. Trying to tap away and not going to oh be able God. to hit the shot. This is actually not so good from Richie. If Kalob's able to get this bomb plan, that's going to be huge. What are you doing? Oh my god, what is happening right now, Richie? Please! What? The finesse is so real right now. 12 HP for Kalob, but 20 for Richie, who has had the advantage all First along. Win. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Why? I don't like Would that you run. say that's disrespectful or was it just purely a coincidence by both players messing up? I mean, Kalab wasn't necessarily like, I don't want to say Kalab was messing up because Kalab gets back into that round just by capitalizing on UBC's complacency. UBC escapes with that round, as I said, you know, was Heroes 1v1 there when he went Claude? Was that a good play? No, it wasn't a good play, but he won on his skill. I mean, Richie not able to complete that and not really respecting the plant or any of that just, you know, it cost his team a little bit here as UMD is going to be able to get a bomb plant. It won't matter. I believe that was a force up with pistols. And uh, going back, like, once again, like, Heroes in a linear position with the off. He just has to look forward and uh, claim the souls of Maryland players and nuked all by himself will go down so like i said like ubc if they play aggressive they'll probably like feel it out you know okay they're actually watching t-con they're actually watching ivy you know they're actually watching for an upper b, b play um like 
and then they start adjusting like here with the op he's not like pushing with like a deagle or something you know what i mean yeah i agree with you on that and um i feel like that's what ubc's place all they're like yeah let's have some fun but like when we start making mistakes oh look at that mike finding strata with a grenade doing a lot of damage to mike he's 47 hp this player's so close nuke wants to claim him but hero holding it off with the cod gun he's got it He's gonna find two kills just like that. Crouching back and forth, finds a third kill, picks up an AK. It's an upgrade, but his teammate goes down. That's getting impetuous as Nuke trying to find Hero, but Yaze is there. Honestly, I didn't think that gun was capable like that. I don't know, man. Like, like what do you say if you're Maryland? Don't rush through the smoke? Yeah. I wouldn't say don't rush through the smoke. Like, I don't know. It's like you're starting to get in that like position where you were last game where it's like you have to fight yourself too a little bit. And like you're trying your very best to, ca to counter these plays from UBC, the skill plays that they have. And you're able to counter it just briefly towards Long. Strata staying his welcome there and Long and a switch to an AUG and looks one on the mic. Mike Jiggling is actually going to go down. Nuked in the meantime has found another one dig. And then second kill now on the Yaze. That evens things out into a two on two. Bomb all the way back towards spawn. Round roughly being reset essentially. If Nuke's able to find Strata here, this is going to be hilarious. Yeah, he should be able to actually. Oh, okay, I lied. Wow, I actually thought he just needed one shot on this player. And now Mater goes down as well. And they're all probably thinking, you didn't hit him? Like, what happened? He was low, right? Yeah, he just right. missed twice, unfortunately. That was smart to crouch and kind of slide a little bit there. Um, again, I don't know if I like the play or if it's just working out for UBC. They, they're they doing everything that they need to to win this, and unfortunately, it's like it's not to be mean, but it's not very much. They have CT side <laughs> on train, and this is a map that against better teams, I'm sure that they'll play more respectfully. But... I mean, they're not respecting Maryland. Maryland is like not really working them to respect them. They're not really bringing out any strategy here on train. We haven't really seen them run anything. They're kind of just holding themselves into oblivion, unfortunately. I wonder why these players hold back. Richie actually accompanied Yeze up to be a little old. Yeze, I like that. I like that. He, ch he rechecks the locker angle and spots a player. But the aggression now towards, like, wait, what? Okay, they're retaking Tcon. And now Petrus down towards the ladder wants to come up with just the Deagle. Walking tag down to 75, but there's two players now. Oh no, it's an off waiting for him. It is a double no scope. I'm pretty sure that first kill is a no scope. The Deagle bait is what was, I was like, I was like, what is this player doing? Yeah, and you can't even. Oh, they're taking attack. I was about to say, like, it, it might be too late, but taking attack just before UBC looking to make it to that big 10 round mark on their CT side. If they're able to get 12, 13 rounds again, I mean, this is over before it starts for Maryland. They're a bit of a rough sentence here to, to have UBC in this round. Obviously, you're right. They're in the money. We weren't really, ex nobody was really expecting them to be UT Austin, and they did. Uh, they they absolutely earned their spot here, but it didn't like it's one of those situations where like I hate to bring your guys into it as an example, but it's the same thing as you guys versus Georgia State. It didn't necessarily matter who won the game in the grand scheme of things because the next team they face is Robert Morris, who yeah, you know like what kind of chances do you With have? A big there? paddle yeah, waiting, waiting for, for us. Yeah, yeah, like they're they're waiting to spank us to oblivion. So you know that was another battle we're gonna think about, but losing to Georgia State, yeah, but. Going back to this, UBC, all out force, they're just being aggressive, taking control, not letting anything be established here for Maryland. And oh shoot, directly on his feet. That's got to be so tilting. Yeah, that's rough. Like Yaze is oh comes up oh what's up? He's like oh someone's holding it. I'm not gonna come back up. What is yeah, going I, on? I, I Look at I, I have third person on for Yaze. It just looks so funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Oh my god. 
What is no! going on? Hero once again. Oh my goodness. I want. I wonder if they're. Are they calming? Can you turn voice enable on and listen for me? I'll check. Oh my god. This is now just a, a circus here. Brought to you by University of British Columbia. And uh, in the audience, volunteers is Maryland. <sighs> My God. Yeah, it's a, it's a circus act, absolutely. It's climbing up and down that ladder, like when when you're losing to that kind of play too. That's where I kind of talked about how trash talk works against another team. If you're losing to that kind of play, and it continues to happen. It can have a big effect on how you play as a player in the rest of the series, how your team plays, how they approach rounds. Right now, they're like we, we talked about into this round where they just you know pigs for slaughter. Well, that's kind of how they're <laughs> playing right now. They're corralling themselves into <laughs> upper B, just this. waiting for it to happen again. Like it's gonna. <laughs> Look at this. You're asking for it. Yes, it's four guys here. Watching the five. ladder. The whole team. The whole team almost. Yeah, they're all here. Oh my god. <laughs> Finally. Are they gonna be oh they're flooding towards the B site and Petru is on the flank, finds one in the meantime. They've actually gone down ladder, not towards the B site. And Petru is quick to try to take down Mater, gonna do so. Looking for shoot, looking for the spray on the Kalab. Kalab not looking the right way. Has an off and a chance, but Strata silences him. Eleven rounds now for UBC. This is not pretty. Oh man, I I like. I hate to see it, but it's got. I got a big smile on my face. It's like I love this stuff. I love seeing stupid things like this. Look, yeah, he's got a mag seven now. He's he's down. You bet. You best believe he's going back to ladder. And, and Richie's like, don't do it. He just shook his head right there. Oh god. Oh, yeez. I'm gonna stick on this, man. I don't think he said don't do it. I think it's just like, I don't support Oh, shit. Oh, oh, yeah. I don't. Yeah, exactly. But out they come for Tcon spewing out. The hero's gonna find the first kill. Maryland trying to capitalize towards the outside with aggression of their own. But on the bomb train is yeez, who's hanging. Actually, not on bomb train. He's towards green. Yeah, she's gets a, on the big flank. And it just falls apart. Mike, the only player on Maryland to get a kill. That's on hero. Oh, my God. Four players above 10k on the CT side. Yeah, this is that's a good half. I mean, is it like I said? I gotta I gotta up the ante a little bit here. Do I do I say I'll get a UBC tattoo if they lose this series? Oh, yeah. This is I don't, I'm not even gonna say that just in case because they'll they'll hear that for the series. Of course, I mean, the tattoo. Then it'll be I've been power all over again. Because instead of an I've been power tattoo. It's these comes uh oh well hero doing his tank it's two kills and petrus is gonna follow the mater though and richie says hello to him 13-1 now the last round in play of the first half and look at the scoreboard um yeah shoom kind of down there but if he does have kills i guess that's all that matters but yeah. like Ugh. it's going back to what i said and I said it maybe the fourth round after losing pistol for Maryland. Like, why did they choose train? At all maps, why didn't you just go like Mirage? Have a better yeah, chance, I mean, right? You, and it sucks when you like I you can't look at stats for everything, but when you look at how this game went and where it went wrong, you can't find anything else to talk about. It's gonna be the ADR of certain players shooting looking to make sure that it's not her in that sense. Petuous. Oh, impetuous goes down to Mike. That's an advantage now for UMD. Mike looking for one more. Yeah, he's on the Meg 7, hopping around in Decon. It's a great player right now, it'd be to rap to be, but I'm not sure if they realize this just yet. Yeez yeah, drops the act, he's gonna pick up an AWP. Followed by Richie, who's gonna follow him? Yeah, they're gonna stick together, it looks like. And that's actually a smart play. Rather than fighting a, a 3v1 situation, right? I think they're just kind of exactly. setting up each other. Yeah, I agree. I think that's probably where their head's at right now. They have 52 seconds to work with. They know like they need this round if they want to keep their playoff hopes alive. That that shimmer is still there. The game is not done yet. And they're doing a good job at just playing it out towards the A site. They're not covering very much ground. Yeah, he's hearing all of this. He's ready for Shum to around the corner, but going to lose his life. Is Shum ready for it? And now Richie looking to 1v3 to end the half. Can't save. Why would he? 
Honestly, Richie already knew it was going to be A. He just wanted uh, Yaze to die so he can actually perform this miracle. And a 1v3, Happy Boy finds Shum. That's a great start. Bombs ticking away. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, thank God, Mater. Thank God. He actually wanted to go for the ninja. I guess that was the only option there. It was the yeah, last round. Only about 10 time. seconds left. He, he yeah. had a chance to go for one more kill, but in a two on one in that situation, the bomb planted there. I mean, he maybe was thinking one is heaven or like exactly what happened to him was the other possibility. He tried to give himself a chance just by going for a ball play. I mean, that's kind of what they've been doing this whole half. They've kept, they keep winning on plays like that. And finally, Maryland, they're going to capitalize on their advantage. They've had good looks in a lot of these rounds. They've had the advantage a lot of rounds early on from early deagle picks from players like nuked but is it enough it's not enough it is enough i don't think it can be enough ubc now under the t side where they're just going to be able to fly out to econ on you yeah that's honestly i feel like i feel like no ubc can't do that they they, they don't want to do anything sophisticated they, they want to hide their strats right so uh you might be right but just running out econ Train is a map that looks attractive if you think you're outskilled, but it's actually the opposite. You don't want to. <laughs> yeah. You'd like, okay, well, if we can't beat them on skill, we'll beat them on strategy. And okay, so that's that's actually a really good way to think about it. But train, when there's a skill disparity, doesn't it's not about strategy at that point. So it doesn't matter. You're not going to outstrat them on this map. You should still be sticking to maps where you get you get a better chance on stacks and on rotates and not having to play absolutely, you know really like really tight defensively i mean oh two players on b mike and shum can they hold off the zerg rush from ubc and already upper shum goes down almost instantaneous and they're already fighting mike here who's had to reload Traz gonna pick up that kill the roti comes through news gonna find impetuous bombs gonna go down and a clock fighting this lane player he's strata he's actually get double peaked his teammate close by is gonna find that kill, but now Mater struggling to hold on to his life. I saw oil train player, but Richie trying to capitalize. He knows the player close by. And that is gonna be it. Nuked and Mater go down. 14 2. Both pistols go in favor of UBC. And uh Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, this is this has gotta be it. Maryland's had a good run here. In these playoffs, as I said, they won. They beat UT Austin, which I don't think anybody really expected. Laurier was a school that was like Maryland got really lucky getting Laurier in the first round because Laurier's had their troubles throughout the year. They haven't really been consistent at all, and they're a team that Maryland was going to be able to compete with on a skill level and just run their strats, run their playbook on cash and nuked once again with the Deagle. Maybe every round should be a pistol for this man. He's hitting tons of shots and oh, oh Richie with a tap. Mater tagging up one. Actually, not going to tag up that T player. Actually, got aim punch and oh, a nice shot from back halls. Hero spraying down with the Mac 10. Three on three. A side open for business. Mike out ladder going to fall to Yaze, who is ready for him. It should be around for UBC, barring oh, Shum maybe coming in and trying to do something about it. Hero holding this close angle, looking for Mater, will complete the kill with the Mac 10, and that should be it. Oh my god, he could not get away from that nade. 15 2. And right now, Maryland's like. Oh man, we should have chose like Mirage or something. Oh, I knew you were gonna do that too. Yep. Feels bad, man. You need to get like a little soundboard so you can get like the, the wind chimes or whatever where it's like having a flashback moment. Then you could use that voice. <laughs> you know the uh, one I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. But look, UBC out Decon. Claw picks up a nice kill into Yaze, but that drops the bomb. It's gonna be looking to be acquired here, but oh my god, hero from the sidelines. Mater realizes that they want to get the bomb and Mahomes can actually shut him down. Schumann Mike now. Instantaneous kills across the board and does this man get knife is my question. Nope. Nope. Hero's gonna end it. That's it. Well, we've been live for about one hour now, and so has the series. So, pretty good stuff for UBC.